Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and we're going to talk about System Restore today. And we're going to explain how that works and what you use it for and uh, all that good stuff. I think probably the most important thing that we can cover right now with System Restore is, uh, is that first of all, it's there as a quick fix if something goes wrong with your system when you're trying to make changes. But it is not a backup solution. Right, I mean, if you've ever been out there putting a new program on or you install the driver and all of a sudden you boot Windows and everything is just completely toasted and nothing's working right and it's all, uh, all out of whack, System Restore is your go-to guy to get that fixed. But like Gary said, it is not a backup solution. If you had a bunch of folders sitting on there and you said, oh, I don't need these folders anymore and you threw them out and you trashed them and they're gone, like you know, family vacation photos or music, you know what, that's gone. System Restore is not gonna help you, but it will save you from catastrophic uh, software installs. Right, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you on Windows 7 here how to do a System Restore and also how to change your System Restore settings so you can get as much out of it as possible and, and uh, not fill your hard drive with System Restore information. We'll go ahead and turn to the computer now and take a look. Okay, uh, before we get into how to restore your system using System Restore, I'm going to start out by showing you in Windows 7 how to set a restore point and how to change your system restore settings. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to start here and then we'll right click on computer and go to properties. Um, under this properties box we want to go to the advanced system settings and under advanced system settings we're going to go to the system protection tab under system protection, you can see it, it's pretty much completely dedicated to system restore. Um, by clicking this button, it actually will open up the system restore, but I'll show you an easier way to get to it when we get to that point. Otherwise, what we want to look at is this here under protection settings. You can see here, gateway drive C. This is my main hard drive on the computer. This second drive here is actually a backup drive, so system protection is turned off on that, just because uh, there's no point, nothing will ever change on that, so system restore is pointless. Um, if we want to change the settings here for this, I can click configure and it'll open up the options for what you'd like to do. Um, system restore gives you three options to uh, one being restore system settings and previous versions of files. The other one restore previous versions of files only and the other one is turn off system protection. In general, you just want to leave it on the top one here so that it restores everything it possibly can. Now, like we said before, this is not a complete backup solution, but uh, it will do what it can. Um, here under disk space usage, this is where you can set how many restore points the, the system is going to be able to store. It's not going to give you an exact number of restore points it can keep, but it'll tell you how much of your hard drive it'll use to keep restore points saved. Right now it's set at 1% of this drive, which is 10 gigabytes. You can just increase it up as much as you want and decide how much of your hard drive you want to uh, give up to storing system restore points. Obviously the higher you put this slider, the more restore points and the further back you'll be able to go on system restore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get cancel on this so we don't have to change anything. Um, that's pretty much all there is for the system restore settings. Now uh, keep in mind also that right here if you want to create a system restore point manually in uh, Windows 7 you can hit this create button and that will automatically create a restore point for right now at this moment so you can go back to it if you feel like it. Now, uh, now that we're done in there let's cover what it takes to just do a system restore. Um, the easiest way to get to it in Windows 7 is to go to Start, and go to All Programs, and go to Accessories, and then go to System Tools, and click on System Restore. It'll open up the System Restore area here, and um, it comes up with a little bit of information about System Restore, and then we'll hit Next, and then it'll bring up the, uh, the two most recent System Restore points that it created. We can check this box here to show more. Keep in mind this number of Restore points that you have is going to vary depending on how much space you've decided to give System Restore. Um, and then so we can go ahead and choose where we want to go back to. The date is listed right here. Um, let's say I want to go back to the 7th. We'll select that and hit Next. And then I can hit Finish. I'm not going to click Finish because it'll restart the computer So and then we'll lose what I'm showing you. But uh, after you click Finish here it'll essentially restart the computer and apply the system restore and once it comes back up it'll tell you if the system restore was successful or not. That's all there is to it. So there you go. That's how you work with system restore points. Again, we really want to stress that system restore is not a backup solution. If you, you know, if you're thinking that it is, you're wrong. You need to go to our store and maybe pick up a real backup solution. We always have stuff there that'll work real well and will uh, save 
regular files. System Restore again is for catastrophic software, driver, that type of thing, system settings, things that go really wrong and you need to get back to the way you were a little bit ago. Yep, and the uh, address for our store is store.worldstart.com. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, stop by our website also. It's www.worldstart.com, where you can sign up for our Computer Tips newsletter. And uh, also, if you have a question for us, go to worldstart.com ask, where we'll be happy to take a look and, and uh, get an answer for you. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. By.